Hey guys, what's up? John Haddock here from Think About Comics, joined by... William Bethayer. How awesome. we doing? So today we're going to talk about Ice Cream Man Volume 1, first four <laughs> issues. So this was something I've been wanting to read. I know me and you have heard a lot of things about it. A lot it. about it. So what do you think? I know you just read it. Just read it. It failed me. It failed me deeply. Really? It, it, it failed me deeply. I, what, I, I, is this the great ice cream? Look, let me tell you. Let's just talk about this for a moment. Okay, what is his purpose? I mean, what is his purpose, really? I mean, I mean, I mean the little kid, the little kid, he went to spider, gave the spider a little kid, little kid's parents died. You could tell the boy was special. Now he's going to the ice cream truck, getting ice cream, oh, going in the house, parents dead, smelling, the kid don't realize it. Yo, the spider is best friend. Come on, man. Come on. You didn't like that story? No. <laughs> Man was some kind of like horror dude, you know. But that's know. that's the whole appeal of him. I mean, the whole appeal is you don't know what he is, and I hope they never explain what he is from these first three issues that we've read. Just let him be his thing. Like I love the Twilight Zone aspect. Like I felt like these stories, even though it's supposed to be like a supernatural thing, they felt kind of real. Like I could kind of believe that this kid, like his parents would die, and this kid would just live out his life. Eating candy every day, doing whatever he wanted to do. The the heroin addict storyline, I could definitely see that happening. But he did not do really nothing to do with it. But that's the thing, like I, I see I look at the, the ice cream man. Like oh. I, I loved these these okay. four issues. Yeah. I what I look at the ice cream man as like being a representation of us. Like he the, he's not really needed yeah. to let the story go by. I mean to go bad. Yeah. Like he's kind of like the excuse for why people are bad. In the book. But, I mean, you take that heroin addict story, you can have that story without the ice cream man at all. Yes. I think with him in it, it just, it makes you feel for those characters maybe this much more. No, I didn't. Because you didn't feel for them at all. And then you're like, oh, well, that sucks. But then you're like, wait a second, they've been doing all these bad things. But, you know, were they manipulated by this mysterious character? No. I played it. The junkies, I felt bad for because they was living happy. They was in the park. They was kissing. It was beautiful. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, the heroin got them. Yeah, I'm yeah. already hurt because the heroin got them. Now I got Mr. Ice Cream Man leaving his truck. So the girl gets in the truck yeah. and accidentally hits the people. It wasn't even like she was gunning for them. She hit the old people and then got out. I was like, oh, since they here, let me rob them. Come on, man. So you were expecting more of like a supernatural thing or like a more of a horror book. Yes. I was expecting like, hey, guy, car broke down. Uh, I can fix that for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you give me a ride? Sure. Fix it in a ride. Next thing you know, he hung up in the tree, scared alive. You know what I'm saying? I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Some crazy stuff. So you had an expectation previously set, yes. and then it didn't feel like it was meant. Everything I've been hearing about Ice Cream Man has been, this is a horrible. This is awful. But you know, this was only the first issue. Are you going to give Volume 2 a chance? That's four issues. Yeah. Four issues of nothing. I, the only issue I didn't like was three with the has-been rock and roll artist. That yeah. was the only one I didn't like. Hey, I, I was like, he got this, he and this imagination, he got the girl with the bike, and she riding, and she got the spaceman, and it was hip, and then all of a sudden he wake up, and he back in the damn place again. Yeah. No. What? Ice cream man supposed to kill him in his room or something. It's just terrible. What did you think of issue four? Okay, so, it went from, I want to leave my wife. To some dude hugging his dead son in a in a cemetery. That is exactly what happened. We went from a dude talking about his wife and issues that he got to, hey, I know how to help your son. You get that bond back. So let's go to the cemetery and hug it out with the corpse. No, that's crazy. That, that's the whole point. No, not scary. Crazy. But see, I think the horror. I think I think you were looking at this book. Now just hear me out. I, I like this book. Okay. You didn't hear it, so 
We always have the the argument on the X Men. You're always defending them. Whoa, the X-Men let me let me defend okay, the ice cream. Okay, okay. The ice cream man. Okay. so the ice cream man. Okay. You're looking. I think you were expecting like that shitty '90s ice cream man movie or late '80s. You know what I'm talking about? Wait a minute. Number one, '80s and early '90s movies were all great horror movies. Yeah, but hear, hear me out. Hear okay. me out. I think you were expecting like this. Like, he's the main bad guy. Yes. I think in these books, people are the main bad guy. And what's scary about them is that these stories actually could happen. It, yeah. Minus three. Yeah. So you have the fear of, hey, look, this can happen to anybody. Yes. But I looked at it as, you know, if you look at, like, why vampires and werewolves were created, they were created to basically... Uh, represent evil that people did because they're like, oh, there's no re- there's no way a, a regular person could have done this. Yeah. He had to have been yeah. this. I think that's what these stories represent. Like, there's no reason, you know, you know, heroin is obviously the bad guy in, in, yeah. in uh, issue two. Yeah. And then on top of that, you have this mysterious figure who gets his tr- truck stolen and now he adds his bad side to it. Yeah, and makes it even worse. And then in one, you have something that I think probably has already happened. In, in, in some random state yeah. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. and how do we how do we justify that happening oh it's this evil ice cream man came in and did it three I, I don't know what the direction was in three I can't defend that one four is that's happened like people dig up their relatives like we've seen this before but to justify it we have the ice cream man and then we have that cool story of like hey his son like went on to do his own thing but did he really accomplish his, what he really wanted? Because we see that he's in hell and he made yeah. some kind of deal with the ice cream man. So even though this perfect life that he said his son might have had really didn't exist. So it gives you that whole per- perception of like, what do you do with life? Like, where does it go? That's how I looked at it. I thought I thought this was one of those books that, 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 that gives you a story. says, hey, look, it's scary because it's very grounded. And you have this hokey, weird ice cream man guy in the background who's just adding like these uh, bad sprinkles to the story to like make it more this 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 like supernatural Twilight Zone feel to it. All right, so I'm gonna just say this. No, <laughs> I tell you what's scary. Scary is something's killing the children. That is scary. And I'm going to tell you now, when we get to the review, oh boy, that, that damn is scary. This here is some talking truck stuff. This is talk. So, what, so what, are you, what is your final say on that? And then I'll get mine. Okay, so my final say is, is uh, you can do without reading this. Uh, if you want to, Go for it. I'm a... This guy loved it. So, hey, you go... But me, I say save your money. I would definitely check this book out. I thought it was just a really fun read. It was offbeat, like nothing I've ever read from any anything in the past year. It was it was completely different. It threw a, uh, it threw a huge curve for me. I picked it up. I had a lot of fun with this book. I'm pro- I'm, this is something I'm going to reread. I already went and bought issue two and three online. Uh, I know four just came out. I'm gonna wait to read two and three, but I'm, you, I'm really excited to read the next couple of volumes. I think you gave that, up Excalibur for this? Absolutely. Oh my god, this is a lot better than Excalibur. <laughs> no, it makes sense. Ah, it has a good Excalibur story. Excalibur makes sense. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, okay. I don't. Ha- I don't have one of the main characters as like a living, comatose plant. <laughs> we all know. I, I, no, I'm not arguing with those okay. stupid <laughs> X-Men books. <laughs> Check this out, guys. This is a really good book. It's definitely offbeat. Clearly, it's not for everybody. Not for everybody. Um, I think if you like, you know, the Black Mirror stuff, the Twilight Zone stuff, it kind of feels that, like, some of the Black Mirror episodes of being not completely horror, like a reflection of our own world, uh, this is the beat that that book follows more. Um, but hey, I'm John Hack from Think About Comics. William Bethea. Hey. Sign us off. Look here. Don't forget to support your local comic book shops. And with all due... Stay safe. Peace.